Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about solar PV battery charging with three different converter. So in this video you have to see about the solar PV battery charging with the Cebic converter and then Chuk converter and then we have to see about Buck converter. Okay. So here you can see that we are using a 2000 watts PV panel. So each panel rating is 250 watts. We are having two parallel string and we have four series model. So it can provide a maximum of 2000 watts. And here you can click the plot of IV and PV. So you can see here at the peak power of the PV panel for the different irradiation. So the irradiation will be changed, the peak power of the PV panel also going to be changed. So that going to be extracted by means of P into MBPT. Along with P into MBPT, right, here we are using battery charger controller to control the charging of the battery. So here you can see that uh, the solar PV panel is going to be connected with the battery by a DC to DC buck converter and then it will be controlled by means of this the P into MBPT plus battery charger controller. So here you can see that uh, so this is a normal MBPT just to go to measure the PV voltage and current and then you have to calculate change in power change in voltage and then here we need to check the, the change in power and change in voltage according with the change in power and change in voltage, you have to decrement or de uh, increment or decrement the duty cycle. Okay, so here we will get the duty cycle, and then here we are going to measure the two parameter that mean SOC of the battery. If SOC of the battery is less than hundred percent age, and then the battery voltage is less than that uh, the ma maximum charging voltage, then uh, that duty cycle can be allowed via that PDLM generator in order to charge the battery. If this condition is not true, the duty cycle will be blocked, uh, that means uh, the duty cycle is not going to be allowed to the PDLM generator, that means the solar PV is not supplying the power to the battery when this condition, this both condition is not true. Okay. So here we implemented the P and MBPT with the battery charger controller. So battery uh, going to be controlled with the SOC and the, the maximum charging voltage concept. So here we are consider uh, the battery voltage is 48 volt and the red capacity we are consider as 200 h. Initial state of charge we are consider as 50 percentage. And same way. If we are using the same kind of concept. So instead of uh, buck converter, so here we are used DC to DC chip converter. And also here we used uh, instead of that buck converter, we are used used DC to DC semi converter. Okay. The design of uh, the buck converter here. So this is a design equation of the buck converter. So we use this equation for calculating the LNC value for the buck converter. So while you execute this program, so you will see that uh, a calculation of LNC. Same way you can see that, so this is a design equation for a chuck converter. So while you execute this program, you will get that uh, the L1, L2, C1, C2 value for the chuck converter. And same way you can see that this is a design equation for a uh, Cebic converter. So here you can, uh, when you have to execute this model, so you will get the the equation for L1, L2, C1, C2. So you can use this value for uh, creating the Cebic converter, Chuck converter, and Buck converter. Now we are going to test the model with the uh, different irradiation condition. So now I am going to simulate the model. So here I am going to simulate the model for a Cebic converter. And also, I am going to simulate the model for chip converter and the buck converter.
and then you have to check the results. So first I am going to compile the result of uh, uh, PV voltage current and power of the, the different configuration. So here you can see that right, uh, so this is a result of uh, solar PV battery charging with the civic converter. So this is for a chip converter, this is for a buck converter. So here you can see that the power extraction of PV power in the with, but with the CV converter right, is very quick okay and then it reaches uh, yeah. maximum power point quickly but here you can see that when you consider a, a chip converter and then uh, buck converter right. Uh, it will take long time to reach the uh, maximum power point and also it have some oscillation around that uh, uh, peak power okay so this is a difference we are uh, that mean uh, the difference between uh, when you are using semi converter chip converter and buck converter and solar pv battery charging so next i am going to uh, change the irradiation from 1000 to 500 and here also I am going to change the irradiation from 1000 to 500 same way here also I am going to change the irradiation change from 1000 to 500 and we have to check the results so here you can see that uh, so this extraction of PV power with the CEPIC converter right when, uh, with the employing CEPIC converter. So here also you can see that when irradiation change right uh, the CEPIC converter with the solar PV battery charging will be extracted maximum power very quickly after changing the irradiation. But here you can see that so it have some oscillations and it will take some time to uh, reach the maximum power point and also here you can see that when uh, we are using the buck converter so here here also they are having oscillation but uh, the buck converter will take long time to reach the maximum power point but uh, the semi converter will be take uh, very quickly to reach the maximum power point uh, when compared to chip converter semi converter will provide the better results and also we will check the result of the battery So this is a battery behavior of uh, semi converter. So this is chip converter and this is buck converter battery behavior. So here also you can see that right uh, uh, buck converter having more oscillation in the battery current and here you can see that uh, uh, chip converter taking long time to reach the mecha that mean uh, that uh, battery current to minus 40 amps and also we have more oscillation and here you can see that uh, it have less oscillation right in semi converter and also you can see the charging level so when you have to compare semi converter right here you can see that uh, the slope of the charging of the battery right uh, the semi converter will be have better uh, charging uh, rate when compared to chip converter and buck converter so this is working of uh, solar pv battery charging with the semi converter chip converter and buck converter Thanks for watching our videos, kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. Thank you so much. Bye bye.